Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. And I think to myself, what a wonderful So today's video is going to be my candle inventory video. So it's actually been quite some time since I did my candle collection review. Um, I think I did it before SAS. It was in like June maybe or before that. Um, but I'll try and link that up above so you can kind of compare where I was then to where I am now. I'm so sorry if you just heard the race car. But the main um, the main difference is actually that like I have a lot more candles and I purchased so many during fall and I haven't even started purchasing for Christmas yet. So yeah, I need to clear out a lot of candles before I can do that. But basically I figured I would take an inventory right now of what I have so far in the fall um, since after SAS and after like purchasing everything pretty much that I'm gonna want for the fall um, and update you guys on what my collection looks like. So I'm gonna pull all them out. I have them actually stored in my bedside table. That's where I store all my ca my candles. I have three drawers right there. It's pretty large. It holds probably 30, 40 candles. Um, so I have them all right there. And then I have a few actually over here that I keep in case I want to exchange them. So that most of them are unburned or ones that I just like didn't like or didn't have a smell. So I'll show you guys those whenever we come to them, but I'm going to put them all out on my bed and then kind of show you guys a rundown of everything that I have. So if you are excited to see what my candle collection looks like, go ahead and subscribe and like down below and let's get into the collection. Okay. So I know I said candles, but I did include a few home fragrance things down here as well um i actually just did a wax collection video which i'll try and link up above um so you guys can go check that out but i did that in a separate video um so yeah this is my entire candle collection i tried to do this is all bath and body works this whole row is um all different brands and then this row is ones that i'm considering giving away or exchanging or putting on mercari so not sure yet. I'm really concerned about shipping on Mercari for shipping candles, so I may not do that. Um, but I was like disappointed or I didn't like the scent of those ones, and I'll mention it whenever we go through those. Um, so they're not like considered part of my collection, but I do technically still keep them. So um, we're going to start with these down here. So I have these five little uh, wallflower fragrance refills. So I've got a few from this fall pumpkin snickerdoodle and warm, sorry, vanilla pumpkin marshmallow. And then I did pick up cereal and cartoons, peach bellini, and pink lemonade from last year. So I have five fragrance refills. Pretty good about that collection. Um, two car fragrance refills in vanilla bean and champagne toast. I've never tried vanilla bean. I hope it's actually strong, but I have uh, I have, have my doubts about it, but that's okay. Um, I'm still totally fine that I only have two uh, car fragrance refills. I think that's like totally reasonable. And then I do only have one single wick, which I actually just recently purchased. So it's pretty new to me. And yes, I did put on a sweater because I got cold. Um, and it is in Hello Gorgeous Pumpkin Spice Latte. Really, really love this scent. I had to purchase it, purchase it again. I had it last year and loved it. So I did just recently pick this one up. And this is my only single wick that I own. Okay, I did take you guys into my bathroom because I forgot this one candle first and this one room spray. So I have Marshmallow Fireside. This is the only room spray I've actually ever owned from Bath & Body Works and I don't use it that much. I'm trying to use it up. I spray one spray every time before I shower just so it smells good in here. But yeah, this one just stays in here. And then I do have a warm apple pie going in the bathroom. This is not usually a scent that I would put in the bathroom um, because I usually would do something like fresh not like something gourmand. However, the wicks on this thing are so tiny, puny, and they burn out with the slightest, um, or they blow out with the slightest movement or anything. And I keep my fan on in my room. So, and I brought it in my bathroom because nothing's really going on in here. I don't keep the fan running or anything. So um, I, I guess this is just the circulation of the air in the room that those, that the wicks are moving that much, but it would move so much more if we were in my room with my fan on. So I just keep it in here for now, but it is like the best smell. It smells amazing. So I still want to use it because I love it. I don't want to return it because it smells so good. Um, so yeah, this one stays in here, but let's go ahead and go back into the, into the bedroom. So I'm actually not super mad about my candle collection because most of them are not like super old. So what I mean is like, these two are from not the fall. Uh, this one's from last year. This one, this one, and this one are all from not the fall. So like, I don't have too many leftovers from last year and the years 
years past and seasons past. So I'm kind of okay with that. So um, I did organize it by kind of like season. So winter, fall, and then the rest. So that's kind of left to right how it's ordered. So we do have Twisted Peppermint Wyatt, which I actually stole from my mom. She had it uh, in her bathroom. She was never really using it. So I kind of just like took it. Um, but every now and then I'll light it upstairs, but it is an old one. It is actually for rum. Let's see. You know what? I'm not seeing a date code on this one. Let me show you a different candle and I'll show you what the date code usually looks like. So this is butter rum eggnog from last year. And so this number right here, that with the zero at the beginning is usually the number not the code down here on the barcode, this code up here. So it has a zero, so 2020. Um, if it's super old, then zero means 2010 or 2000. But this one, I don't see a date code on. So I'm not too sure. This was actually at my outlet and it looks like it might even be from Canada because it has multiple different languages. But I'm pretty sure it's either from 2019 or 2018. So kind of old, um, working through it. Uh, and a few of my candles were actually damaged in the uh, Houston... Uh, freeze. So I don't know if you guys have heard about that, but uh, basically all of Houston froze over for a few days and everybody was without power. My home was like 40 degrees inside. So a few of my candles got some damage to them and that's just like the wax cracked. And um, we did light candles for light and for a little bit of warmth, honestly, uh, throughout that time when we lost power. So uh, a few of my candles are like sooty because of that. And like I burned ones that I didn't mean to burn, like this collection up here, just because like I had so many and we put them throughout the house. So they were lifesavers, but a few of them did suffer from it. So just a word of warning, if you see some candles that have like this brown stuff or like this cracking just know it was the freeze like please don't blame me for being like a bad candle owner or whatever like that's not the purpose um but yeah twisted peppermint anyways <laughs> besides that traumatic event um twisted peppermint is right here and then we've got butter rum eggnog from last year i actually was considering getting rid of this but honestly it's such a like collector's item so i did keep it it is like the weirdest scent honestly um and you can see, like, the last time I burned it, I did... Actually, this might be from the freeze. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Oh, and look, you can see the crack in the middle. Okay, I'm gonna stop talking about the freeze. Anyways, um, scent notes on the bottom, just because I know you guys are gonna be curious, because it's, like, a very unique scent. Spiced eggnog, vanilla bourbon, rich buttercream, and shaved nutmeg. This was an online exclusive that I bought last year during Candle Day. So, um, they might also bring it out this year, online exclusive, or maybe just for Candle Day. But, yeah, this is a very unique one. It's, like, super, super sweet. Um, but I am keeping it. And then Tis the Season, which I picked up at um, SAS this year for super cheap. So I picked it up um, this year, but it is last uh, winter's candles from 2020. And then I have some fall ones. So the first one I have is Pumpkin Donut Shop. And I hoarded this one from last fall. Um, I had two. I have burned this one. And then I bought myself a backup in the new Pumpkin Donut Shop. This packaging is hideous but it is definitely the same scent. So happy about that. And then we have banana walnut muffin, pumpkin bonfire over here. This is one of my favorites from this um, fall line. So beautiful, the packaging. I just think I love the photorealistic packaging and just, it's just really beautiful. It's a great scent. And then we have white pumpkin that I picked up whenever they had that sale that was like uh, purchase like $30 worth of stuff and you get a free candle or something. So that was a really great purchase, but honestly, I love the packaging and I love the scent anyways. And then we have leaves, which is, I'll show you the date code on this one too, from 2019 actually. So it's pretty old. I need to get through it. Um, I just usually, it's so strong that I usually don't burn it for that long. So it just takes me a while to get through this one, but definitely planning on finishing it up. And then the last one from this fall is pumpkin vanilla creme. And I did put on a different lid on it because my lid smells like jalapenos. So, uh, and then we have whipped coffee. One of my favorites. It definitely smells just like white caramel cold brew, which is one of my all time favorite candles at Bath and Body Works. I need to pick it up again because um, they have it out right now for fall. I need to pick it up at the next candle sale because it's so good. So good. Um, and then we have Love Every Bunny Sweet Carrot Cake, which I actually saved. Um, let me show you the notes. It's super spicy and very fall-like, so I saved for this fall, but I kind of forgot that I had it. Um, it is Sweet Cream Cheese Frosting Fluffy Carrot Cake and Cinnamon Spice. It's basically like a spice cake scent with some vanilla, like vanilla icing. Oh, this is so good. I'm going to have to bring this one out. I'm going to have to leave it out because I definitely forgot that I had it. But that's the whole collection for Bath & Body Works, so that's literally it. 
really liking that uh, how size how that size is right now. Um, we have two from Goose Creek. So I did purchase these two last fall, and I did not realize that these jar candles would take so long to get through. Um, they last forever. So the first one is Toasty Pumpkin Toddy. I'm actually super impressed because it's not super sooty. I don't know if you guys can tell. Um, but there's a little bit of soot, but not as bad as previous ones that I've had with them before. So this one's honestly such a good scent. Very, like, cider-y. It's so yummy. And then we have pumpkin pie also in the same packaging. This one, it legit smells like pumpkin pie. I just haven't gotten to using it yet because I'm focusing on this one. But it is so good. And I burned it on Thanksgiving last year and it put me in the mood. It was so good. So highly recommend these jar. Well, you know, I had another one that was the white icing cinnamon rolls that was super city and like a horrible, not a horrible performer, but like kind of cloying. So I don't know if I definitely recommend them, but these two themselves are really good. So maybe not all of them, but these two are good. Um, and then I have a few from Huntington Homes from Aldi. The first one is this Woodwick one in Citrus Clove. I have not burned it yet, um, but oh yeah, I have. Sorry, that's a lie. Look at that. Don't look at my horrible um, wax pool. Yeah, this one is just kind of like citrusy and super spicy. So like that one. Pumpkin Apple Fritter. Fall Flannel Shirt, which is definitely a dupe for Mahogany Teakwood, but I have not yet burned it. So, oh, I have. Okay, well, I can't remember how strong it was, so I'm sorry about that, but it has very tiny wicks, so that, that worries me a bit, but I can't remember if it's super strong or not, so don't quote me on that, but it does smell like on cold. It smells like mahogany teak wood, and then I do have two from DW Homes, so I actually love and adore the DW Homes brand. They sell these at uh, like TJ Maxx, Marshalls, and Home Goods. That's where I found my candles before. I know you can buy them online, but they are a lot more expensive, so like for this, it's a single wick. And peppermint bark I got this actually last year for Christmas time and it's $7.99 so I think online they're like 12 or 15 but uh, definitely buy these in stores because you can find them they're not super hard to find they always have some but peppermint bark smells exactly like peppermint bark I love it also sorry for the nails don't don't pay attention to that okay um, and then I did pick up dinner roll this one was like going insane on TikTok everybody was talking about it again it was $7.99 um, I have not burned it yet, but I am so excited. It smells like rolls and everybody says it smells like French baguette from um, Bath and Body Works. So I'm going to burn this right after this video and I will let you guys know in my vlogs. So if you aren't already subscribed, you need to subscribe right now because I will mention this in my vlog for this week. So just be on the lookout. Okay. And then moving up top, these are candles that I'm not sure about keeping. I think actually though, I might um, save a few of these for my boyfriend Ryan because he lives in an open concept house and you could definitely get a good throw out of these. But for me, burning them specifically in my bedroom, a uh, little too strong. So the first one is The Perfect Christmas. So this one's from last year. I believe they came out with it again this year. Um, it is fresh cut pine, cinnamon sugar, and toasted marshmallows. It smells like a Christmas tree and my mom could not stand it. And it's a little too strong for me to burn in my room. So I can't burn it downstairs and I can't burn in my room. So I think I'm going to give this one to Ryan, but it smells really good. And I can imagine that they would like that. That's kind of like, I feel like pine would be a good scent for their house. It's like a bunch of guys. So, you know, feels like that's probably appropriate. Um, and then we have cinnamon Irish cream, which um, did not come back out this year. This is actually from last year. Cinnamon spice liqueur, Irish cream, and French vanilla. Um, it's a really good scent. It's super spicy and kind of smells like Play-Doh. So I don't know. Um... I think I might end up keeping it. Um, yeah, I'm still debating this one. So just unsure. Um, we have salted caramel, which I did not mean to burn, but I did burn in the freeze. Um, it is super cloying, but I kind of like it. I don't know. I still don't know what this one either. I feel bad. Uh, but chocolate grams, absolutely zero cent. Zero cent. Um, it is milk chocolate graham cracker, caramel swirl, mineral extract, I didn't get to burning this until like the spring, but it has absolutely zero throw. You can't smell it at all. Um, sadly, these are 2450 candles and all the candles this year now are for uh, winter time are 25, I think, 2550. So I don't even think I could exchange this if I wanted to. Let me know down below what you think I should do with this one. Maybe I'll just put on the wax warmer. I mean, not the wax warmer. I have a, um, ignore my trash, sorry. Uh, I have a candle warmer right here. I have a toasted vanilla chai in there right now. Maybe I'll just put it in the candle warmer. Let me know what you guys think I should do with this one because it's a problem child. Um, and then we have Laundry Day, which people raved about. It is fresh air, crisp eucalyptus, and soft lavender. 
but I had this once that I got from my outlet store and the scent kind of smelled like kerosene. Not gonna lie, it was a little alarming. I did not like it, I did not enjoy it. So then I went and exchanged it for another laundry day, different packaging, different pour. It still smells like gasoline to me and maybe it's just my nose, but my mom also thinks so as well, but it's also super strong. Um, so I might bring this to Ryan and them and see if they enjoy it because I feel like a nice fresh scent would be good for them as well. Um, but yeah, I, I still get gasoline from this and I'm really sad because everybody raved about how good it was, but maybe it's just my nose um, picks up something funny in this scent. I'm thinking that's what it is because I usually, um, I usually don't go for like laundry kind of scents and I never really have before. So maybe it's just my nose that's picking up that weird scent. So hopefully Ryan will like this one maybe um, and he can have it. If not, I don't know what to do with it because again, it is um, a 2451. I don't really even have the receipt for it. So they would probably only give me like five bucks for it. So it's just, yeah, not ideal. So hopefully somebody will want that one. Um, but yeah, that's the like top row of like misfit children. <laughs> but yes, that's everything for all my candles. Let me count them up for you. So I have 23 three wicks, which I'm including these up here. For single wicks, I have one, two, three, four. So really not mad about the single wicks. Um, I definitely am starting dinner roll tonight. Oh, I didn't show you guys this one. I'm so sorry. Um, this one is actually one that I picked up at a um, farmer's market recently in Cyprus, in Cyprus, Texas, just outside of Houston. Um, not just outside of Houston, in Houston, whatever. You guys, you guys get what I'm saying. But the brand is Light Your Wicks, and she does have a website. There it is right there, lightyourwicks.com. Um, and this is pumpkin spice latte. She reeled me in, and her husband was so was so funny. He was like, "Are you sure you don't want to smell these candles?" I was like, "You know, I want. You know, I want to. You know, I want to smell the candles." So it smells amazing. It has a great throw. Um, it la it has lasted really long for me. I think this has been like four different burns, and I'm only this far down. So. It's lasted pretty long. I've had this for maybe a month or so, but pretty good. So I will probably be purchasing from them again. I hope I see them at another like farmer's market again. But yeah, that, that's just like a totally random find that I found, but really enjoying this. So that is another one of my single wigs. So sorry about that. I forgot to mention that one. Um, but yeah, so four single wigs. What did I say? 23, three wigs. Or I think that's what it was. And then five refills and two of those refills so not too bad honestly I thought I was in a worse position but I definitely want to get through most of my fall candles before I move on to like these winter ones so yeah the plan is to get rid of some of the fall ones to make room for all the winter ones um, and hopefully be able to purchase on candle day um, and go crazy and go wild and not worry about it so that's the plans but yeah that's everything for the candle collection so that's everything for my candle inventory i hope you guys enjoyed that um let me know down below where you are at with your candle collection are you a collector right now and not really worried about burning are you really really worried about your numbers or are you so excited to purchase for christmas let me know down below i think i'm gonna try and wait until candle day but I don't know if that's gonna happen. So don't count on me for that one, but I really do want to get my collection really far, not really far down, but further down than it is right now. I have a candle, um, a rolling candle project pan or wax project is what I call it. I'll try and link it up here um, that I am trying to work through my candles in. Um, and yeah, so hopefully I can get that number down a little bit, but that's everything for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, like, comment, and subscribe down below, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!